can I say our raison d'etre is, is about the population we serve. So in STARS vernacular, a VIP stands for a very important patient. You know, being able to interact with our, our VIPs, our very important patients. Uh, a lot of times they'll come uh, to events where they're able to meet the crew that flew them on, on the day uh, where we happen to be there um, for them. Hello, my name's uh, Hank Postma, I'm a STARS VIP. And uh, I've been involved with the organization for a few years since my event. In December, a few years ago, my wife and I had gone to the mountain and the plan was she was going to have uh, have just some quiet time at the bottom of the hill as I made some, uh, made some runs. And soon after starting that sixth run, I knew there was something wrong. I basically kicked off my skis and uh, I went down to the ground. And I do remember Pat Jeffrey, the flight nurse, coming in and escorting me on this, the stretcher out to the helicopter pad. When those doors closed and the helicopter lifted off the ground, I knew I had a chance. I, I, I knew I might be able to survive this and make my, my son's wedding. When I visited the hangar a while ago and I saw these birds, and these birds to me are angels, and I want people to understand that STARS is very angelic. They pick people up, they take them away, and they survive. My name is Lorinda Bai, and a few years ago I was rescued by STARS Air Ambulance. I just graduated from high school and some family friends and I and my sister decided that it would be the perfect weekend to go camping. My sister and I went to sleep and woke up to a raging storm outside of our tent. And unfortunately we couldn't find our zipper to get out of our tent and a tree fell on me and my sister and ended up breaking my back and paralyzing me. So eventually, a couple hours into it, STARS was called and I was flown to Edmonton, Alberta, where I learned how to adjust to this new life. I don't remember a whole lot about that night, but I do remember when I knew that STARS was coming, I just remember feeling like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be okay. I know this is serious, but I know that I'm gonna be okay. And then when I um, got on the helicopter, they were just so uh, attentive and kind, and I knew I was in good hands. I think time is of the essence, and when STARS does come to rescue you, I've heard it's called the golden hour, which is meaning that things are going downhill quite fast, and I don't like to think about that, but um, I would say if it wasn't for stars, I probably wouldn't be here. So very great for them. And it was about six months after my event, I came here to the hangar and I asked if there was anybody available that was part of my flight that day. And there were, but it was very, very nice to share my survival story and show them I survived when I showed up at the hangar. And for me, it meant a lot to not only the crew that was part of me that day, but also the STARS organization. Well, this ring was given to me during that visit. And I must say, it's a constant reminder for me. Every day I wake up, I crawl out of bed, wiggle my toes, I look at my ring, and it just reminds me of that glorious day where everything fell in place for me and gave me a second chance in life. The ring of life, it's been with me forever and it'll stay with me forever. Being a VIP, it's kind of surreal because you never picture that you're gonna be needing stars. You, I always thought like, oh, it'll be for somebody else. But now that it's happened to me, I just wanna make sure that if anyone else is in a situation like I was in, that they have the best chance of survival and the way that you can keep that chance of survival high is if you keep stars in the sky. So just help spread that word and awareness. I feel honored and privileged to be able to share my story and just to give back in a very small way for all that they've given me. It's a blessing that I'm here today telling you about stars. And forever, I'm gonna be a father, I'm gonna be a grandfather, I'm gonna be a parent, I'm gonna be a husband, I'll be a colleague, but I'll also be an advocate for this great organization that gives people second chances at life. They save souls and they save people.